Hi and welcome everybody to this brief tutorial on using the R exams package for creating numeric questions that is um, exercises where the correct answer is one number and um, this can be used for example for mathematical or statistical problems but also for various types of problems in other application domains. For writing such a question, there are two um, different um, markups available in the package. We support uh, both Markdown and LaTeX, where we will use the former in this tutorial because it is a little bit easier for beginners. But um, actually, for the arithmetic problem that we will look at here, the difference between the Markdown and LaTeX version is not very large because um, LaTeX is used in any case to denote uh, the mathematical content of the exercise. And uh, we start here in, um, in R and I have already um, um, in, in my working directory uh, the two versions of the exercise and uh, both of these are also available within the package and also on the R exams webpage. And before we look at the exercises uh, in the files, we actually compute uh, a few random versions of these um, exercises to see what this does. So we, we start with running exams to HTML, which is a nice and convenient way to get a quick first overview. The exercise is first compiled in R and then converted to HTML and because we have just uh, generated a single version here, it pops up in the browser and we see what the question looks like. It asks us to compute a certain derivative of a function. The function is a product of a polynomial and an exponential function and we should evaluate um, the derivative at a certain argument. The solution shows how to do this and also uh, shows um, what the correct answer in this particular case is. If we go back to R, we can um, generate uh, two more versions. Um, again, these pop up in the browser and if we cycle through these, we see that uh, the numbers um, change somewhat between the different versions. So we get a different power, a different coefficient and a different argument in each of these. And um, now let's have a look at how this is implemented in the file. If we open the file, um, we see that at first uh, there's an R code chunk here at the beginning and what it does is pretty basic. The first uh, three lines, if we run them in R here, they generate um, some numeric constants. Uh, A, that is the power for our um, polynomial. Then we have uh, B, the coefficient in the exponential function, and C, which we will use for the argument at which the derivative is to be evaluated. And then we also compute uh, the correct solution which in this case is 2.09 something 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 and um, the result in this case uh, was coded um, by hand of course you could also try to use R's functionality to compute derivatives but for nicely displaying the path to the solution we need to implement this step by step by hand anyway so we have also implemented the solution in the same way. Then the question um, is simply a markdown style uh, section, um, so underlined uh, with equal signs, and uh, then we have the question. In the question, um, there's uh, some LaTeX markup for uh, denoting the mathematical equation. You also get this nice preview here in our studio that shows you what the equation will look like. And um, we use then the capabilities of the NITR and our markdown packages to insert the constants A and B into the equation. And the same is happening here at uh, the end to insert the constant c into this simple equation. 
Then we move on to the solution section. The solution section is um, entirely optional. You don't have to implement that, but um, it's a nice feature if you're using uh, learning management systems, for example, because then you can provide automatic feedback uh, to your students or test takers uh, what the correct solution path would have been. So not only the correct result that they should have answered, um, but uh, the entire uh, path to the correct solution. And this is written in very much the same way as the question. So we have simple text um, um, with mathematical equations in LaTeX and within the mathematical equations we insert the numbers we need. And um, this um, is of course a little bit of work to uh, code the, the entire solution path in the correct way to insert the right numbers in the right places, but it's not um, uh, complicated once you've worked out um, the theoretical um, equations. And then um, we move uh, to the last section, that is uh, the uh, meta information, again written in markdown style and using uh, some tags, all starting with X, uh, like exercise or exams. So we have the type of exercise, which is num for numeric. Then we insert the solution using uh, NITER or our markdown syntax using the formatted result. Then um, we give the exercise a name, derivative exp in this case, and importantly, we also include a tolerance at the very end so that uh, not only precisely the correct result is accepted, but uh, also some tolerance interval around it. And here we, we use the function FMT, which is short for format, um, to nicely format the result. I'll show you what this does um, on the console. The default in FMT is to round the result to two digits. This is what we use in our own courses and we tell our students that they have to answer the questions up to two digits. If they enter more digits, that's no problem as well, because the tolerance we use is at least 0 0.01, so that uh, the last um, digit can, um, uh, can differ. And um, the format function is written in such a way that you could also require three digits, for example, or four digits, um, and so on. The um, motivation for using a new function for this was that um, if we have a result like this, 1.1, but we want formatting up to two digits, this is simply a convenience uh, feature to get uh, exactly two digits that should be shown to the uh, students. Okay, and this is uh, what, you, what you need uh, to implement uh, such, such an exercise. At, um, after implementing such an exercise, we recommend uh, thorough testing to make sure that um, you have implemented uh, the question in the right way. And um, I will make a, a video about stress testing such exercises in um, another tutorial. Also, you could, um, in the next step, create a single choice version for this type of exercise where you not only correct, uh, compute the correct um, number but also four or five distractor numbers. Again, I will try to make another tutorial for that. To conclude, I just show you briefly the LaTeX version where you see the parallels immediately between uh, Markdown and LaTeX. We have a slightly different format for the R code chunk and then we have these begin question and end question um, LaTeX commands and begin solution and end solution commands uh, and we have LaTeX style uh, meta information text but otherwise the content of the exercise is very much the same.